Welcome back everybody. This is Permadeath Survival. We're currently in need of a place to put our gravel ejector because we're way overloaded with gravel right now. It's taking up all our cargo space and preventing this from drilling any further because of the rules we've got on it. So we need somewhere to get rid of all that gravel. It's, it's just totally in the way. Here would not be the best place because it would prevent us parking um, our big truck, the uh, side saddle. Here would not be a good idea for obvious reasons. It's our garage. Possibly over this side. I'm not keen on cluttering this bit. It's 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 a nice area, but I think we might have to actually bite the bullet on that. Or we could build it off here and just eject it out to the side here, which I think I am favoring right now, getting rid of it around this area. There's a nice spot about... Uh, that's one, two, three, one, two, here. Yes, perfect. There's a nice spot right there that we can use to do this. So we're going to put conveyor on there. I want to keep this like all on the out. Oh, do we do it on the outside? Do we do it on the inside? Let's put a sorter on there. So conveyor sorter, it's going to go that way. Is that right? Do it. Yep. Bottom. Uh, interior plate needed. Luckily, let's put my light on. At least I'd like to be able to see. Let's make sure that stayed right. Yep, perfect. Bang. There we go. Okay. So that's our conveyor sorter. That's going to go out to a connector similar to that one. So do we have one on our bar? There, probably. I don't know why I thought about it so hard. Let's put it that way. Right. But... <sighs> Yay for auto crafting. Now, I suppose there is a risk that some of it could fall down the hole. So what I'm going to actually do... I think we use half blocks. Yeah. Should be safe. We're not going to be drilling that bit again anyway. So eventually these will start to despawn. Well, the, the gravel blocks inside here will. I think it would be good to have access. It might spill out a little bit, but it's out of the way. Um, it would be good, good to have access in case we need any gravel after we've like spat it all out. So I think that'll do quite well. Right, this sorter... Needs a name, so gravel. Right. Let's go into there. Sorter. Gravel. We're going to whitelist only gravel. We're going to put drain all on. And on the actual thing we're going to put throw out on, it's going to start throwing gravel out there like that, like crazy. It's going to sound terrible until it's empty. We've got tons of the stuff, so we're going to have to deal with this banging for a while. Sorry. The other thing I wanted to look at was this, because we made a mistake of putting that quite high and blocking off that. But I have a very, very easy fix for that. So this will take like oh, maybe a minute. Here, where did I put the bits for that? Right, five, yep. And then we need the stairs. Just by moving the stairs over one and not having one of these blocks on the upper level, it keeps that block there. This block space I'm jumping into completely empty so that we're now able to plate right there. I'm not going to use this kind of plate. I'm actually going to use large window blocks. So we could do it with, LC with transparent LCDs and have like cool funky colors, but uh, do you know what? No, it's just rubbish. 
windows, so we want the really big windows heights. Bam, there, like that. Like that. Like that. Perfect. Right. Ooh, how do we weld all that up now? Um, do we build some sort of little jiggery gadget thingy to do it all in one go? So this little crazy thing, I got bored of actually uh, trying to weld that up manually. So this crazy thing is piped into the inventory over here. Oh, it will be. One last thing. Save that till last, so I've got access. Right, there we go. And I'm hoping it can weld up these blocks. So I'm going to just turn these on. Control reaching. Right, let's see if we can figure this out. So that one might not actually be connected at all. Are these connected together? Top piston parts connected to that, that's connected to that, that. I'm... These might not even be connected together. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. I connected that to the ground by accident. Not ground, hopefully. Yeah, we can't place the head there. Okay, uh, we're going to remove... Temporarily. Those two blocks. And we'll place a head on. Right, good. Now I should be able to... Extend that out, get it above that line, and then put these blocks back in. Okay, so our cargo use is much better now. The drills are still off for now, but that's because we're 46%, not 40%. The refineries are definitely doing some refining, so the drills must have done some work. Uh, we have an unknown signal over there. We've got 14 minutes, so we might have time to wait. Okay, so that's now, boom. Yeah. All right, let's just reverse this thing. Oh, that one's working now, okay. Maybe it's because of, oh, it's because of materials. I think it's just like availability of materials more reason to do it this way. See, we have also crafting that's constantly topping up materials. Meteor storm inbound. Oh, we actually got a warning this time. Where's it coming from? Well, here we are. I think we got away with that. 
What are we short on? Uh, girders, yeah, they're big built. Got 44 magazines left. Uh, there's just that one at the end there that I can manually do, so that's fine. Right, let's slow this right down. I mean, I have no jetpack. For those that are new, this is a permadeath survival mode with no jetpacks, no third person view, but it means that we have to try like crazy wacky things out just to make things work. So that's kind of awesome. I like that. So we've only got one that we missed. I think that's acceptable. Um, we can do that manually. Broken ones from downstairs. Right. Next. Jaws are still not working. Totally forgot about those. This is the assembler, so I will probably keep that downstairs for now. Um, right, let's have a look. What, where can we put more assemblers? Because um, I want quicker crafting, really. Um, I know. If I put a couple like that, then we can connect it at the bottom here. go. Um, yeah, that looks quite neat, actually. Um, right. So, triple the assembly capability, which we eventually are going to need. Especially when we start shipbuilding. Um, we're going to need an extra refinery in here somewhere. Auto crafting should deal with these automatically. Right. So that's that, and then this side is going to need the speed modules. So, speed. This is going to use extra power, so we're going to have to be like kind of cautious about this. There may be room to put one on top as well. Energy really doesn't last long when you're using your, uh, your hand tools. We need to definitely get another uh, refinery in here. So I think when we remove these screens, and because we, we don't really necessarily need them down here, we can find some space upstairs for them. We could put a refinery in this space here. I mean, that's what it's for. It's not really a, supposed to be a sitting down space. We spend most of our time up this bit anyway. So we'll put a seat in front of these screens at some point, possibly. Speed modules on top if I can. Let's take full advantage of all the space we have. Could go for like power efficiency modules, but honestly, nah. Let's just 
drop off here. I'm not going to die doing that. Right. They're not fully, fully upgraded because we can't. Because we're like, there's the bottom bit. I don't really want these floating in the air. That gives us another point of access for materials, which is great. We could put another row of these back here if we wanted to. We just like pipe off here and pop another row in if we start needing more. So expandability space in here. Let's put a seat down in here. I'm going to make it a control seat. Good. Right, so that's... Oh, I need my food and water back. Food. Um emergency rations any of them left couple take our water bag as well right I'm going to give that noms as well see if that works give it a second see if my water goes up yay there we go right perfect so from there I can see all of that your know, passenger seat might have been better, but this is a good spot we can control drones from, which we're going to want to do at some point. Now, uh, we're short of a couple of bits of information from downstairs, like the um, damage control stuff. So I think it's time we retire the fancy image on here. And we make the screen useful again. So LCD... Just call it damage so we got it. Right, echo. Damaged component blocks. Echo to leave a space and damage. Uh, we have to get rid of that, don't we? Yeah, there we are. Otherwise, it acts as a background. Right. We can just drop that font size a bit, because it's huge. Oh, I like the blue one, actually. Yeah, I'll leave it on that. Right, so that's damaged blocks there, which is perfect. The hinge is the hinge outside that we built the rover off, which we haven't welded up at all, so that's why it's on there. That works nicely. We've got our power system here. I could have sworn I heard music then. Some weird harmonics coming off those. Uh, right, okay. And now on the back of here, we're going to put... Eh, let's see, a little LCD screen. Let's make use of that space. This is going to be like our power time thing. So... LCD panel power 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 time yeah we can put other stuff on here so right batteries will be charged in two minutes eleven seconds that gives us a good overview of like where we're at with that we're gonna go blue dark blue with that this looks nice. Right, we can, we're going to put more information on that at some point. We lost our one now, so never mind. We got a bit carried away with this. Right, so... Ores ingots and stuff. Ah, yeah. In fact, I might as well just take that command off there and copy it. Right. Let's put that somewhere. So we have that information available to us. Um, where are we going to put that? Yeesh. Can put it on there. Or maybe... No, let's make this. That. Yeah. 
Make that that. And we'll use this. Large display. No content. Custom data. Power time. Any second. There we go. I can see that quite clearly there. They need to make that a little bit bigger though. So I don't have to sit in the seat to see it. Perfect. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, do, 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 do. So that's information for all of that. That's our all Zingots thing. Can get rid of that. We can get rid of that because I think the screen upstairs is telling that story better. Cargo use, probably deal with that some other way. And that we've got on the auto crafting. Right, so that means we don't need to have to be able to stand in that space now. Cargo, cargo filled thing, I'm going to do a different way. No, LCD. Corner top. I think. I'm going to put that information upstairs, but... We're going to put it in a way that's useful. Is that upside down? That's interesting. Yeah, we could put it on the floor. That's fine. Okay, right. Cargo LC. Uh, da, da, da. LC. There. There we go. Cargo... Should give us an overall cargo thing. Just make that one like that. It should make it fit. Good. That's better, yeah. Right. Quick at a glance cargo use meter. This is all very industrial. It's all like very, you know, information is where you kind of want it. So that's why I'm looking at that. I can see the cargo. Uh, that means the drill should be going. It's not. It's not spitting out gravel though. Draw's not moving. It's done this before though. Um, oh, it's just, yeah, it depends because the cargo of the two containers that we're particularly interested in is what matters. And we've got other cargo containers around here. So. It's counting up all of them and saying, well, we're 33.5% full, where the two cargo containers that we're really interested in, which are yours and Ingot's ones, they're um, clearly fuller, more full. Yeah, makes sense. Um, right. We could put these on the cargo containers downstairs at some point as well. Uh, we need another refinery in here. This is key. We don't need that. no longer has a purpose there. So, do, 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 refinery. Sure, just put it there. Industrial, as always. Let's stick with that look. Put it there. So, it's got access that way, so I think it makes sense that we pipe it into that space there. That way around, or... That kind of feels... 
good uh, actually it's going to take the same amount of space up so unable to place that would be because the four blocks above one two in right need pull in see where that comes in relation they're stuck together I can pull some ground underneath it's fine one yes that's perfect so it's the next one over and the two behind it. Right. And then two blocks behind it. I'm going to have to do this from underneath. Um, I don't know about air tightness with those two. It might not matter too much. Right, we've got to pull those two blocks somehow. So, du, 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 du. Um. Well, I've got nothing to use with this. I've got too much stuff on me again. I keep pulling I don't know what yeah that right that should now allow me to place that Bang on. That's good. We can't upgrade all of that unless we pull those two blocks as well, but I don't think we do that. I wonder if that... No, that's probably not airtight at all, that, is it? But I think we should be okay. Right. Let's get this welded up. Ow. It's not into ourselves, we can't heal because we lost our respawn point and we don't have any of the stuff we need left apart from maybe do we have a yeah we still got a couple of med kits so that's about it they're expensive I don't really want to use them right now expensive for me I've only got like a couple of thousand credits total Right, it's another refinery. Good. So there's two refineries in here. Yeah. Looks pretty decent. It's connected to the assemblers upstairs. Not like inventory wise, but like physically. Okay, so here I think we can put some catwalking in. I think that would be quite beneficial. Uh, do we have an access point? Awesome. I wonder if I put some stairs there. Let's change that for and yeah, we can decide on the stairs after I'd like all of the little laddery catwalky things in the box to actually be integrated and useful to some extent at least right so now we need a ton of steel plate. I'm aware there's a corner piece that I missed, but we're gonna have to go outside and weld up some of this stuff anyway, so just doing the bits we can from here.
be nice to get us off of these windows, Dom. Hey. Okay, we've got low energy right now. So that comes down there. There's a space there that I could use as well, which is interesting. Not sure how we're going to make use of that yet. I like having lots of stairs. If it was more than two floors, I'd have an elevator. But it's, yeah, technically it's three. You've got the roof as well, but we've got access. It's fine. Lots of stairs. So we now have two refineries, three assemblers. This is starting to become more of an industrial complex. I still need to weld that up, actually. solves that. We're also going to put some catwalking down the side here. I said I was going to fix that this time, so... Mm, where did I put the catwalking thing? Yeah, five there. Right. Bang. Let's get materials. That's not good. Box in a hen house release the hounds. Which one's releasing to who and where? Have we got a flying over thing? I don't see any additional signals appearing. Oh, I like that reflection. Having glass up there is awesome. You can see, you still see the solar panels actually doing their job. You can't see these ones. We covered them up, but. It's kind of, it's cool, it's industrial. That's what I'm just going to say, like, every time I'm thinking it's something that's, like, interesting. Um, right. Now, what I was saying before was, like, you can't get anything in there is, I was idiotically thinking you can't get anything in this block because we've used it there, but you don't need to. Uh, don't want a railing on both sides. There we go. Now, here's the bit that's interesting. They don't put, like, a suitable, a suitable corner. Yeah, we're still missing some pretty important bits. That's not going to help at all. Why don't we have a reverse version of that? That's not going to help. Yeah, it's a bit... See, what if I want to do... I want to do a corner and I can't. It's very, very silly. Can't even really sensibly convert to large catwalk here. Because that's the only one that sort of does it. I could possibly pull this one off here and... Put that, like, there. Convert it to large at this point. Yeah, the best I can do is like a fully open one here. And then literally we're going to go to that there. It's a bit silly, this whole like limitation thing going on here. We're not going to go all the way across, obviously, because we're going to come unstuck on a block after this one. So here, I think we just put a stopper on the end. Really? There's no small one with a blocked end? Alright, put you there like that, just leave you like that. There we go. As promised catwalk system going all the way around. Nice. Right. Not showing as airtight just yet because we've got a little bit more to do. There's some stuff around the outside that 
is problematic. Whoops. Do I do that? Spiders are still on, so we need to be, like, really freaking careful. Ah! That might be a problem. Guess we open up one on the other side as well. Right, that'll do. So there's, there's that corner, which is not a problem, but there's also these blocks up here. Oh, that was definitely... No, maybe that was the drill. Yeah, the drill's going again. Good. I thought that was a spider then. Yeah, we've got all of this run here to do, so... Best way to do that right now is to just build up to it, because that is, like... It's too close to the edge of that. And this is, and all this stuff's in the way, so... I'm just going to... Do that. Yeah, just put those there like that. Yep. Temporary scaffolding. Try not to have an industrial accident. couple more up there at the top but I think they're sealed off from the um, from the inside uh, we could do it a way up there but that might actually need a lifter for that bit but we'll see I don't think we're gonna need it right now so these are not sealed off though Another unknown signal. That's in a pretty decent spot, actually. Let's get these windows done, and then we'll run out to that unknown signal. Right, technically, that should come up as uh, airtight. Three kilometers, 13 minutes, okay, it's looking all right. Got to be very mindful of air, of the, of the weather. Just make sure all the doors are shut. We'll go upstairs and see if uh, we've got pressure. It's possible that the windows are not suitable. Yeah, that's quite likely, actually. Uh, that's fine there. Let's... Yeah, it's probably these windows. We might need to either put a secondary window in. Right, on this side here. It's quite likely, or on the outside maybe. Kind of like the curves though. I don't really want to get rid of them unless I have to. Let's make sure there's nothing breaching in the inside here. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a problem. Little bits like this. There's probably another one back there somewhere. Batteries are good. That should really, in theory, be it if the windows are fine. They're probably not. Okay. We don't have air leak scanner on either, so we're going to plate over those windows. Uh, 12 minutes, right, let's first let's prioritise. We're nearly out of rations here. We're going to take that, take some of that steel plate. I think it's not going to fill us up too much. It could be useful for stuff though. We need more. Oh no, we're fine with water. We'll take some synth food. Start using that up, and then we can start making proper stuff. So this one's synth food, actually. Let's just test if uh, the whole noms thing works here. Not for food. No. Okay. Wrong kind of food for that. 
Right. Time to take the rover out for a spin. Let's get that unknown signal and see if there's anything useful on that spot. That's better. And then we can come back and try and chase down this air tightness issue. Recharge off. Unlock. Go. Speed's down right now because we're in parking. Seventy-two kilometers per hour for now. It is faster than it feels, to be honest. Just a little over a kilometer a minute. We're not in a rush to get there. Here we go. I don't want to just rush over a big hill. not a race against the clock but it might be a race against the weather potentially oh let's take this a bit slow that hill okay. This thing's a beast. Not seeing any flying stuff coming after us. That's a good thing. I know they can fly drones around here. I'm yet to see a cargo ship but I think they can't fly this atmosphere. Just turn this thing around in case we need a quick exit. Oh well, uh, it's rubbish. No more space credits. Coffee and fertilizer, okay. Flying now, we're doing 126 kilometers per hour. Off road. made out smoother. Right, let's just double check for any damage. Fabulous. Okay, we're gonna like fix up the front and stuff like that on that sometime. It's functional right now. We can make it look prettier at some point. Right, let's dump all our stuff in here. So... Keep that on us for now. Right. No, not that way. This way. Um, oh, I just want to check, check around the outside again for a second. Especially this area here. It's probably alright. Yeah, I think it's going to be either something to do with the batteries down there. I mean, that's possible. In which case we'd probably have to uh, abandon air tightness altogether or block off half of this part of the room. Or drill out these batteries and like do something with them underneath, maybe? 
might have to play around underneath them possibly or it's the windows and we can easily work out the window thing by just paneling around here on the inside for now and just seeing if that solves it can't do it on all of them so some of these might have to be on the outside we could just replace these for like angled blocks might look just as good but yeah i think we will do that next time <laughs> 